Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today I know we're late. I didn't really know how I want to do this. I don't even think this is going to be the final plan, but I am in the middle of an office makeover. It's basically done. I just have to film like reveal, I guess to you guys. But now I have room to do like a real shot my stash. And that was a big reason behind doing this because I wanted to make this room more feasible for doing shot my stash style videos and really using what I have in my collection. So I am gonna go over my monthly five from last month and show you a little bit of what my plan is directionally with the new Shot My Sash series. I'm not going to have shots of the drawers right now because this room isn't ready for that. Plus, I think I wanna do a full makeup inventory. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys are interested in. So I wanna go through each drawer, inventory everything, make sure to pull out anything I don't want in my collection. Like I really wanna, clear everything up this year. So let me know what you think of that. But if you guys are interested in seeing my kind of new version of my shot, my stash, then keep on watching. Let's go. I also have not decided how frequently I'm going to do this. Right now, assume monthly. <laughs> not sure yet. Okay, so one product that was in my shot, my stash last month was the Skin & Co Radiant Dew Mist. I actually made a pretty decent dent in it. I use this almost every day I would say this past month and I actually really like it. I think it's very nice. I will say it's about 30 some dollars at Ulta and I don't think it's that good. I would not see myself repurchasing it. It's even more expensive than All Nighter and I feel like All Nighter to me is like the best setting spray so especially if it's anything more expensive than that I just cannot see it being worth the money at all. I did bring in a ColourPop Super Shock. This is the shade Glitz. It is okay. It's one of the matte Super Shock shadows and it's definitely getting dried out. I feel like if I get really close, you can probably see the cracks that are starting to form in it. I do know that you can revive these, which is something I'm considering doing because I don't necessarily want to just get rid of it. So revival is a potential for the future of this. I had a blush palette from Lovecraft Beauty in my Shop My Sash, and I love this. I used these blushes so much the past month. They're just matte shades, which I do love a matte blush every once in a while. So I was really excited to have this in my shop, my stash, and I really enjoyed using it. This product was on the Potential Chopping Block. This is the Zuri Flawless Shaping and Strobing Palette. This was $1 at Shop Miss A, and I actually found myself using this contour shade quite a bit this month. So this is staying in the stash. This made the cut. Congratulations. Okay, the last product that was in my monthly five was the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis Palette. This is such a nice palette. I mean, the colors are phenomenal. Honestly, on New Year's, all I did was throw some of this in the crease and this shade over here all over the lid and I was bada bing, bada boom done. I just love the shimmery shades in this. Like it really makes the whole palette for me. Okay, now we can talk about where my shot, my stash is heading. I'm really going to be focusing on using what I have, trying to finish up products and, you know, using the things that maybe haven't gotten used in quite some time. So let's start with primers. This time of year, my skin is maybe the driest it's ever been, I think. Like the skin around my nose is, <laughs> yeah. My chin, my forehead, it is not pretty. Let's just put it that way. So I picked two minis I have that are very moisturizing, creamy primers, and I thought they would be great for this time of year. The first is from First Aid Beauty, and this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I actually do have one of these in my backup drawer. That's a whole nother thing. I think my backup drawer needs to be cleaned out, but that's for another day. But this is a really nice, thick, moisturizing primer, and I 100% will be enjoying using it this month. The other is the one I used today, and this is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty First Step Prep Moisture Reset Cream. So it comes in this little pot, and it is basically this very thick cream moisturizer that works as a primer, and I think these two We'll get a lot of good use and maybe I'll even be able to finish them up since they are minis. Okay, I have two foundations. The first one is the foundation I'm wearing today and I think it looks horrible <laughs> on my skin. If you were really all up in my skin, you'd be like, why does your face look like that? I feel like it looks super dry on my skin right now and I'll have to let, you guys will have to let me know if this is what, how you experience this. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the original. I don't think I like this product. I wanna try to use it up though. Get my money's worth, cause I'm fairly certain that what, back when I bought this, I paid full price for it. Who am I? I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't look great on me, especially since trying their Bye Bye Foundation. I like that product so much more than this. 
I want to try to use this up. This shade is fair, so I can rock it this time of year, especially when I'm not self tan. So I want to get the most use out of this as I can. I also wanted to throw in a mini foundation to see maybe I can use this as a mixer or just use it up the rest of the month. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have this in the shade two. It's super lightweight. I could totally see using it as a, mix a mixer for a foundation that might be a little too dark for me this time of year, but again, it would be great to use it and get it out. So we'll see what happens. I did choose one concealer. I, I pulled in the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. Not a favorite. I know it's pretty popular. It's not my favorite though. But I actually pulled the stopper out of it today because it was having trouble getting product out. So maybe I'll be able to scrape everything out the rest of this month and it can go on to a better place. We'll see. For powders, I did a loose and a pressed. So the loose powder I went with is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm trying to see if we can see how, okay. So that's how much is left. <laughs> if that gives you an idea. Uh, I feel like I could make a good dip if I really focus on getting through this this month. We'll see. Again, this is one that I kind of overlook because I instinctively grab my minis so much more often than my full size for some reason. So I wanna to try to focus in on this one this month. And then this pressed powder. If I can't finish this this month, I am a failure. This is the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I mean, I just need to bite the bullet and get this one done. You know, like I can do it. I got this guys. I can do it. Okay, I did go with two eyeliners. I decided to pick a black and a colorful one. So I am wearing the black right now. They're both from Urban Decay and they're 24 seven. So the black pencil I'm wearing today is the shade zero. And the colorful shade I decided to go with is the shade Starfire, which is like a bronzy orangey kind of shade. So I'll be trying to focus on these two eyeliners this month. And for brows, I have these in my brows today. I have the uh, Arches and Halo micro defining pencil. You can get this at Target. It's okay. Not a fave. And then for clear brow gel, I have the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I think this is one of my oldest brow gels. I know it's very popular, but I don't like it as much as ABH. So I'd like to use this and get on with it, you know? Okay. Eyeshadow. So I wound up picking three palettes and three singles. I felt like that was a good idea. You'll have to let me know. Okay. It's Valentine's Day month. So I feel like red pink. It goes with the theme. So the first palette I went with is the Main Squeeze palette from ColourPop. I feel like I should be able to get some good use out of these shades this month. I would love to. I very, very rarely reach for this. There's no real reason why I want to do that this month. So this one's coming. Another one is the Violet Gloss O oh Snap Fun Size palette that came out at the holidays. But I mean, first of all, this whole row, we got neutrals. We got some neutrals here, but we also have the reds. And this this, this here is one of the most metallic red shadows I own. So I feel like this would be good because it has the color. It has the neutral. It will be good for this month. But on top of that, I wanted to pick one fully neutral eyeshadow palette. And if you like discontinued makeup, here we go. This is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. It smells so good. But we got our neutral shadows here for sure. If you cover the blue, it's fully neutral. So. We have that avenue completely covered with this. The three singles. And for singles, I really included anything tiny that could include liquid shadows. So I did pick one liquid shadow. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Tulip Twinkle, which looks like this. I went with a, it's kind of like a pressed glitter. This is from the Ulta Beauty brand. This is their Lustrous Foil Eyeshadow in the shade Bronze Leaf. So it looks like this. I definitely have not used this in a while, so I felt like that would be a good idea. Last is from the e.l.f. holiday collection. It was called Eye Candy and it had a bunch of duos. And this is one of the duos. And I felt like this also could be a really quick, easy two shadow look. Throw on some brown, throw on some shimmer and go. That's what I was thinking. So for face products, I picked one of each and then one face palette. I feel like that should be good enough. So for bronzer, I actually picked a cream bronzer. This is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I do have a mini of it. And there is that much product in it. So I'd like to see what kind of progress I can make on it this month. For blush, I went with, you know, the Valentine's Day theme. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in I Will Always Love You. I feel like that's a good shade for this month. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Highlighter I chose is the Urban Decay Afterglow in the shade Sin. 
And then for a face palette, I'm very annoyed the clasp is broken on this. This is the Cover FX Perfect Face, the Perfector Face Palette. I decided to go with this. And this is totally broken and does not clasp shut, which is very irritating because this is essentially brand new. I also will not be bringing in a mascara because I just have like a little jar of mascaras. I have a couple open. I just kind of reach in there. I don't think we need a special one in the shop my stash. I picked one setting spray. This is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I got this last year from BoxyCharm, barely used it. Thought, let's try this thing out, see how it works. Yeah. Okay, then lip products are weird because I have two kind of things with lip products. I have a thing that sits here and it's like drawers and I can like go through it. And then I also have like a thing on my vanity that has like some of my most reached for. So what I decided was to go through these drawers and pick four products that I feel like I don't use super often and get more use out of them this month. Again, trial and error phase. So the first one is a gloss. This is the NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper in the shade Elizabeth. This is definitely one of my older glosses. I'll try to get some use out of it. A very old liquid lipstick. I don't even, I should probably see if it's, yeah, it still smells the way it used to. This is a Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Commando. So we shall see how that goes. I have a lipstick from Marc Jacobs in the shade Eat Cake. Looks like this. And the final product is a Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Pepper. This is a mini. And that is my new Shop My Stash for now. Hopefully in my room tour, you'll kind of get to see how this is all going to be set up. And I hope this is successful. I would love to be able to finish a couple of these products off, even without them being in my project pan, which there will be an update on that this month since I'm doing the updates every three months. So yeah, that is it for this video. You'll have to let me know what you think of the new version in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.